A small village in eastern China's Anhui province heralded China's rural reform in 1978. Four decades have passed, and now the village's longing for a better life is being rewarded with unprecedented boldness and persisting creativity. Back in the winter of 1978, 18 farmers came together to sign a secret agreement to divide communally owned farmland into family plots, with their hands printed in the red onto a piece of thin paper to enshrine their boldest ever attempts. This night marked the jumping off point of China's rural reform. Yan Jingcheng and Yan Hongcheng's memories about the winter of 1978 are as fresh as ever, as that winter saw masses of deserted farmland, rampant poverty, and a struggling people's commune, all of which intensified villagers' hunger for food and warmth. In the autumn of 1979, Xiaogang village reaped a bumper harvest of 133,000 kilograms of grain and 35,000 kilograms of oil plants after its first year's efforts. The village for the first time delivered and sold its surplus grain to the government since its local people's commune took root, with the delivery of 65,000 kilograms of grain and 20,000 kilograms of oil plants. This was 80 times the estimated output of oil plants. Furthermore, the village also for the first time repaid a government loan of 800 yuan. At the same time, the per capita income of the village stood at 400 yuan, 18 times that of 1978. <laughs> In the years to come, Xiaogang village continued to see grain yield hikes. However, the so-called first village of China's reform and open up ran into a new challenge of acquiring a will of life after having been pulled out of poverty. Xiaogang village made a timely shift. It kicked off its second round of rural reform, taking the lead in running and promoting a new type land circulation system. The village also intensified its crops and began mass production. The reforms made Xiaogang village a paragon in reboosting China's rural areas. The village ever changes its outlook in its shifts from agriculture to tourism, and from mud brick houses to buildings modeled after traditional Hui style architectures. Last year, the village achieved a per capita net yearly income of more than 18,000 yuan. Currently, the villagers also enjoy shares and dividends every year. The communally owned farmland has become history, while now all villagers have their own stakes in the village. These shifts are signs that Xiaogang village is pressing ahead with its reform in the new era, looking to further increase farmers' income and revitalize the rural areas.